A nice feature in PowerPoint 2010 is the ability to quickly access your presentation templates rather than have to go through onto your network over and over again to find the same presentation template that you want to use on a regular basis, what you can easily do is you can add it to your favorites, your favorite presentation design templates by going through the process that we'll be showing on this video. So again, this is just a quick little video that shows you a fast way to become more effective as you use PowerPoint 2010. Enjoy the video. I'm at a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation and I want to use this presentation to demonstrate how you access a design theme and then how you take that design theme and save it on the ribbon so you can get quick access to it in the future. So I want to put in a different design onto this presentation. So I go above the ribbon and I click on the design tab. I get some pre-built designs showing up up on the theme part of the ribbon. I'll go to the right of the theme area and click on the down arrow of the scroll bar. On the drop down list I see more themes I could choose. In my case I already have a theme that's stored on my computer or it might be on your network. So I'll go to where it says browse for themes. Now I've got to go through a lot of different steps now to find the theme that I'm looking for. So in this window, I'm going to choose computer. I'll go to the C drive. I'm going to go to the folder called users. Again, I don't want to go through these steps over and over again in the future. I'm going to find one called, in my case, Peterson, which is my name. I'll scroll down a little bit further and I'll find app data. Double click on that. I'll open up roaming, double click on that. Again, a lot of steps I have to go through to get to the theme I want to use. I'll scroll down and find Microsoft, double click on that. Scroll down again and find templates, double click on that. It takes me into where my templates are. Now, I designed this earlier and the, the template I want to use is one called My Design. So I'll do a, do a double click on this. It'll take that, that'll, it'll now assign that, that to this presentation. Now, I don't want to go through those steps in the future, having to go back and have to find that design. So what I want to now do is, as I want to make a copy of the design, I put it up here on my, in my theme area. So I'm going to go back to the right, side, right side of the theme area on the, on the ribbon. I'll click on the arrow on the scroll bar. I'll move down to the lower part where it says Save Current Theme. Now understand I had to have, first of all have my theme applied to this presentation before I could do it. So I'll click on Save Current Theme. And I'm going to call this one My Design. And I'll click on the Save button. And that's not going to show up on the ribbon in the future, so I can use this whenever I choose to for future presentations. I'm going to close off PowerPoint. I'm not going to bother saving this file. I'm going to go back into PowerPoint again, just to demonstrate that that design theme will be there for me. I'm going to go to the Design tab in the second choice. Well, not necessarily be the second choice, but in this case, the second choice is My Design. I click on that, and I now have My Design applied onto this to this presentation. It just saves me the steps of having to go through and find My Design over and over again. And here's the steps that I went through. I went to the scroll bar to the right of the themes area. I went to Browse for themes. So this time it's going to be in a different location. I'm going to go to computer, my C drive, a folder called masters. Again, you have to get someone to help you to find where yours might be if you're in an organization. I'm going to find a design that I want to use over and over again in the future. It'll put that theme on. Now I want to save this theme so I can use it in the future. So I go back to the scroll bar again to the right of the themes area. At the bottom, I'll click on Save Current Theme, and I want to call this My HB Design, and I'll click on Save. It's now going to show up on the ribbon. There's the one I just did in the previous example, and there's the one that I'm working with right now. So that video will be helpful for people that want to use the same, te the pre the same presentation template over and over again without having to go back and look on your network or on your computer for the actual presentation template. You can real quickly add the presentation template to, the, uh, to your favorites up on the, on the design tab in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Thank you for watching the video. My name again is Joe Peterson. Please visit our website. Our website has lots of video, different videos about how to become more effective in using PowerPoint, Excel, Word, and so on. Our, video, or our, sorry, our, our website is www.joecomputertips.com. Thanks.